Dear astronauts, I'm very happy to have this extraordinary opportunity to converse with you during your mission. This conversation gives me the chance to express my own admiration and appreciation to you and to also so collaborate in making your mission possible and to add my heartfelt encouragement to bring it to a safe and successful conclusion. When you are contemplating the Earth from up there, so you ever wonder about the way nations and people live together down here, about how science can contribute to the cause of peace, Uh, you know, people fight over many different things. As we're seeing in the Middle East right now, it's somewhat for democracy in certain areas, but usually people fight for resources. Uh, and it's interesting in space, uh, you know, on, on Earth, uh, often people fight for energy. Uh, in space, we use solar power and we have fuel cells on the space shuttle, but it's it, on the space station, it, it's... Um, you know, the science and the technology that we put into the space station to develop a solar power capability gives us pretty much unlimited amount of energy. And if those technologies could be adapted more on Earth, we could possibly reduce some of that violence. Scientists tell us we have to be careful. And from an ethical point of view, we must develop our conscience as well. From your extraordinary observation point, how do you see situation on Earth? Do you see signs or phenomena to which we need to be more attentive? On the one hand, we could see how indescribably beautiful the planet that we have been given is. But on the other hand, we can really clearly see how fragile it is. Now, just the atmosphere, for instance. The atmosphere, when viewed from space, is paper thin. And to think that this paper thin layer is all that separates every living thing uh, from the vacuum of space and all that protects us is really a sobering thought. In the midst of your intense work and research, do you ever stop and reflect like this, perhaps even to say a prayer to the creature? Or will it be easier for you to think about these things once you have returned to Earth? I do pray for, for me, for our families, for our future. I took with me the coin and uh, I allowed this coin to float in front of me to demonstrate microgravity. I shall thank you very much for this opportunity and uh, I would like to allow this coin to float to my friend and colleague Paolo. He will make return on Earth on the Soyuz I brought it with me to space and uh, it will take down on Earth to then give back to you. I will continue to follow you in my thoughts and prayers and I will impart my apostolic blessing.